guys and welcome back to 2017. I have a video request for you guys so if you're interested in seeing what's in my YouTube binders stay tuned. Well this is a highly requested video and which is surprising to me because I thought giving this subject would be kind of boring. So since I have such a large request for this video, I am going to go ahead and show you my binders for my uh, YouTube business and let you see it. And uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so let's get started. This one right here is my business taxes binder. I thought we will start with this one since the tax season is coming up. And you can see how I go about preparing for my taxes for Breeze Project Book. So let's go to the first page here. When you first open it up, this template here is a template that I use. It's a cost breakdown of different um, areas of how I go about running um, Breeze Project Book. This one is for my office management cost breakdown and as you can see there are some line items here um, it shows you how much I pay for my PO box renewal domain name my business cards ink uh, for the uh, printer and so on and so forth and each line item has a cost and each of the cost has a total of each cost now this is very important for my accountant because he needs to see these line items so he would be able to correctly or appropriately put the cost where needed it in the system and I like to keep all of my receipts uh, attached on the back here of what I spent on each of these line items so he can take a look at it you know you want to have all your receipts together and um, make copies of them what I normally do once the tax season is done for that year I scan it in into my computer so I will always have it because you will find sometimes that these receipts will fade over time and you don't want to lose that information um, later on down the line just in case you do get audited so that's what this sheet is for this is my office management like I said this is the cost breakdown and each area of my uh, business have this um, broken down this right here is my annual subscriptions right here I have a a subscription to do it yourself and so forth and I um, Put a line item here how much that subscri subscription cost me the date and then the total down at the bottom and again right behind the cost sheet is the actual receipt that i spent on that item the next a sheet is my business marketing expenses these are just expenses that i use for facebook youtube uh, instagram those things that i have for marketing uh, to promote my channel they go here each line item and a cost and then the total cost and then we have business office supplies expenses everything that I need to run my office uh, that can be anything from laminating services uh, office supplies um, anything like that to actually keep the office running and like I said each line item has a cost and then a total cloth cost and then this one is these sheets here are my videos each video that I've done in the year and how much it costs me to do that video um, I have it stapled this one right here is my island styling for the Independence Day how much it costs me to do that and the date I also have the receipts uh, behind that and this is just a good reference for him so he'll know how I went about or how I use these items in my business so just in case I'm audited the people can see I actually purchased these items and I use them in my business and this is a good way how I organized it here is the um, bedroom guest bedroom uh, reveal or the guest bedroom um, how much it costs me to put that together and things of that nature everything is here and um, the receipts are behind it 
Uh, we have what else? The Erin Condren unboxing. That video has everything plus the receipts. And it goes on and on. Each of the videos that I have for the year is a total of, I think, 52 of them in this binder. And um, yeah, so this is how I organized it. And we will move on to the next binder. This is the video request binders. This is all the requests that you guys send me via email, uh, through Gmail or Facebook or through YouTube. I collect all of them and put them here. On the left hand side, you will see this is a form template where I put all of you guys requests here. It has the name of the video, the date it was uploaded and any of the names and information um, listed here that I need uh, like the viewers name the project the project requested and when I planned on posting it and what date did you guys request it so this is the template that I use and on the other side here is the actual requests from you guys the top up here is all my completed requests that I've done videos on and I have the form plus the email requesting the video and I staple together. The top form here is the active request. I have that covered up because I don't want that to be seen yet. And here's where I place all my active requests. And um, once they're done, I actually shred these and then I, well, scan them first and then I shred them because uh, less paper I have in the office, the better. I have a small office and I don't like to have too much clutter. So this is pretty straightforward, nice and simple. As you can see, I do um, take you guys' requests and I do collect them and I put them in this binder and I have a record of uh, when I can post them, when you guys requested them and so on and so forth. This next binder is my video scripts. This is a binder where I keep all of the video scripts that I've done videos on and it's basically a record or a um, plan of how I want my videos to go. As you do see here, this is a final uh, form of what a video script look like uh, for my channel. And basically it has pictures and each panel has a script of what I want to say or anything that I want to do for that video. I normally go ad lib, but just this just gives me a focus of things that I want to um, get across to you guys. Uh, as they say, points in a paper uh, to actually make sure that I cover certain subjects in a video. So this is what a final script looks like. It's all typed and has pictures of each panel and things of that nature. And on the back it has certain things that I need to do. Uh, research, thumbnail, um, photo shoots, lighting, the description, my tags here, uh, things that I want to put to the video on Instagram, Pinterest, Google, Facebook, uh, certain um, links that I used, certain uh, sites that I want to mention in the video, music that I want to mention, a person or a blog that I want to mention. And this just basically gives me a focus of things and information that I want to get across through my videos. This right here are drafts. All of these are drafts and they have a little stamp that I always put completed once they're done. And then once they go from that draft form, they go to the final form, which is this one. This binder here is where I keep all of my receipts for my business. At the moment, it is empty because like I said, it's tax season and all of the receipts was put in the business tax binder that I've already shown you. But this is a neat little pocket here. It uh, divide this folder into three pockets you have a top pocket here and this pocket and then you have one here each of the pockets are uh, labeled furniture organization and decorating office management subscriptions 
business management, gas receipts, and then we have another one, electronics and office supplies. So this just is a great way for me to organize or keep my receipts organized until tax season. And about a few months before tax season, I start to put them together with my, um, my cost sheet as I showed you before in my uh, business taxes finder. This binder is a very important binder. This shows you how I run my business, how I run my office. And just in case something happens to me or I'm incapacitated or I don't feel well and I'm unable to get out of bed, my husband can easily come to this binder and see what's going on where I left off. So this is a very important binder to have for your business. To start off, we have how I give, do a giveaway. Just in case I have a giveaway that's ongoing, it can show my husband or whoever um, how you go about doing a giveaway and also how you set it up. So that's what this is. The next thing here is my stats for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and I will skip those things because that doesn't need to be shown, but it is a great thing to have in here. This just give me uh, stats for the month or the week, or however way I want to um, keep it of those items. I like to keep abreast of how the channel or, or Facebook or my um, media is doing. And then the last part is my business accounts and passwords and things in that nature. Uh, we have my AdSense account, my Breeze Project Book, EIN number, bank account number, uh, W-9 forms, my P.O. box information, and an extra key. All of those things here are in this binder and these are my procedures and protocols binder for Breeze Project Book. So this is a very great thing to have if you're running a business just in case that you're not going to be there you're on vacation or incapacitated someone can take over while you're away well I hope that wasn't too boring I tried to get through it as fast as I can and not um, stay on too long on a certain subject so you won't get bored to death <laughs> I hope this is um, was beneficial for you and you got some tips and ideas how to go about doing your YouTube business or any other business that you may have at home and I hope it was great information. Um, I will see you guys on the next video uh, that's coming up soon and until then, I'll see you soon. Smooches!